welcome back to Bookish Brits. My name is Michelle and for today's video I really wanted to talk to you about something really important to me and that is book clubs. So recently I read this book called The Bad Mother's uh, Book Club by Kara Staten. It's a book that she's written for an adult audience. She also writes um, for YA and she's one of my favorite authors so of course I was always going to read it and it was really really good. It was about a woman who, because of her husband's work, moves to Liverpool with her two children and uh, she she ends up moving and finds that um, because of the move, mostly um, a lot of things in her life have become a lot more, um, a lot smaller. So she ends up making some connections with the other moms at the playground in her community and they form um, a Bad Mother's Book Club in which they talk about how uh, things aren't always perfect uh, in their lives, in their relationships, um, their raising of their children. Um, there's lots of things going on. One woman thinks her husband's having an affair. Another woman is dealing with more really serious things um, and doesn't know how to open up about uh, cancer. It's, it's really, really good. And what I loved about it so much is that uh, these women end up finding um, friendships um, with these other women. Um, and it's through the basis of a book club, but so much um, of their book clubs are about talking about their lives and lots of other things and with some elements of bookish talk as well. And that's really reminiscent of um, my experiences with book clubs in the past. And um, something that came to mind just before I started to film this video is that uh, that's one of the reasons that I ended up in the book blogging community is because uh, for years before I had children, I worked in a bookstore. I really, really enjoyed um, meeting other bookish people, talking about books. So after my eldest was born, that's when uh, my blog Fluttering Butterflies was created and it was, um, it was done so that I could still have that type of outlet. Um, and same with the book clubs, I guess. Um, I joined my first book club. I have to tell you I'm part of um, three, possibly four, if you want to call it that, um, book clubs right now. The first one I joined um, years and years and years ago. Um, I, was, I wasn't working at the time. Um, I had had two children. I was book blogging at the time, but there weren't that many people in my local area that I could talk to about books. Um, so I think it was just a coincidence. I met um, a friend of mine in uh, the school playground and she said, why don't you join the book club um, that I go to? And one of the things that really um, made my decision for me is they said that the book they were reading was Knots and Crosses by Mallory Blackman. And I was really excited because I obviously love that book. Um, as I said, this was years and years ago, and I was thinking, oh cool, maybe they are uh, people like me, a bunch of adults reading YA. Of maybe they are, because they read Not Some Crosses. And it turns out that no, not so much. Um, this group uh, mostly reads a lot of crime thrillers and family dramas, and um, a lot of books that I don't uh, myself personally I like to read, um, but because I've been meeting up with them for years and years, um, they've become like family. Um, it's really, really nice um, meeting up with them. Uh, since we've been on lockdown, we um, generally do a Friday evening uh, book club Zoom meeting in which, yes, we talk about books, but a lot of it is down to um, family, uh, what we're watching on TV, um, how we're coping with um, with lockdown. And it's the same when we meet up um, in person. We, we talk a lot about politics, movies, um, holidays, children, um, and also books. Um, and I think that's what I love about um, them so much is that, um, yes, we connect on a level and talk about books, but if something, horrible happened in my life, then I know that I could um, call them up and they'd be there for support. And I, I love that very, very much. The second book club that I'm part of um, is 
adults reading YA. Um, I have several friends who work for, uh, for libraries um, and she connected me to um, other people who like reading YA who are of a similar age group to me. Um, and again, um, we don't meet up as regularly um, and um, not everyone can attend, but um, it still just feels very much more like um, friends getting together, talking about um, life and also books at the same time. And we do regular meetups during lockdown as well, um, which I think is just really, really lovely. Um, the third book group is one that um, is my no, okay, so my newest official book club, it's uh, through my local library, it's called the Generation X Book Club. Uh, we do regular Zoom meetings since lockdown as well, um, but I joined that one because uh, I started a new job at the beginning of the year, which was like a stone's throw from the library. And I thought, why don't I just join another book club? Um, and why not? It's just nice to have, um, something else to do, something, someone else to talk to. And um, I think the one of the things that came up in the Bad Mothers Book Club is that um, it's harder to make friends when you're older and it's quite easy to be lonelier. Um, and I feel like uh, joining book clubs is something that I've done to combat that in my own life. The fourth one, and I, that's why um, it's a little bit strange, um, is that I have a couple of friends that I have, um, I've known since I was maybe 13 years old. Um, they both live in America where I grew up um, and we've almost reconnected, um, I'd say. We've never been disconnected, but I guess we've reconnected during lockdown and we've decided to form um, our own little book club as well. Um, and I just feel like um, all of those uh, friendships and connections are really important, especially um, when the world is like it is. So I really hope that um, everyone out there has somebody that they can talk to. And if you don't, then um, hello, my name is Michelle. And if you'd like to talk to me, feel free unless you're too awkward like I am, um, but uh, the offer still stands. All right, until next time.